Have you ever wanted to start a Dooney addiction? I'm a very funny person. <laughs> I made a joke. <laughs> collection and didn't know where to begin? Well, let me tell you how to start your Dooney obsession collection addiction. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel or welcome back and thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. This is a collaboration video and I come up with this idea and I knew the three ladies that I wanted to join me in this collab because they are Dooney aficionados more than even me. <laughs> I've learned a lot from each of them so I am collabing with says what and happiness sparkles and my pursuit of happiness so we all have our own take on how we would start over our Dooney collection and my take is going to be different than theirs so you have to go and watch theirs they're lovely ladies very sweet kind awesome and subscribe to all of us like and comment down below you know the drill so this is going to be my take on starting over and this is actually how I began starting my Dooney addiction slash collection. <laughs> so I started out with vintage. Vintage Dooney from, you know, the 80s and 90s. I wanted to know what kind of quality I was dealing with with Dooney. I, and so that's where I started. I started with a low budget because I didn't want to pay a lot, but I wanted to see what they were all about. And I started and I paid $25 for my first ever vintage Dooney, and this is the large Essex bag. And I love how worn in it is. Yeah, so this is an old bag. It has corner wear, but it's so soft. I've conditioned it, it has giant pebbling and some missing color. But I started out with the all weather leather. I wanted to know everything about all weather leather and it has the raw interior. And I I knew to look for the tag inside cuz they they did fake these. So I made sure to get pictures when I was buying these vintage bags of all the necessary authenticity requirements, you know. Um, so I started my collection with vintage. And you can find a ton of vintage bags in different styles on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. And you don't have to pay a lot of money, especially if they're a little bit beat up like this one. You don't have to pay over a hundred dollars for it and just see if you even like this brand so that I did and I <clears throat> I believe this was probably the next one uh, again I just this this is similar shape to a coach Cassie and I believe this is the messenger bag I always forget <laughs> please forget me but it is in this taupe and brown dark brown I love the top handle, a beautiful crossbody. You have your little duck. This is probably one of my favorite vent. Well, they're all my favorites. <laughs> but this is definitely in the rotation, especially in the fall. I didn't pay more than $50 for it. The leather, once you go vintage, then you get the addiction really begins. <laughs> so that's how I started. <clears throat> so figure out your style. Do you want top handle? Do you want crossbody? Do you want shoulder? Or do you want a hobo? Because my bags are more small medium sized bags. I do have a couple large ones, a few large ones, but <laughs> you got to figure out what measurements you like and what shoulder strap you like. So that would be the first thing I would suggest. And then as I was watching YouTube and figuring out this whole Dooney obsession because yeah once you start you fall down the tunnel of more and more and I was looking at 
ilovedooney.com. And back in the day, they used to get loyalty points. Dooney, why are those gone? Because <laughs> you, for every purchase, you get points. And then you basically got a bag for free or maybe tax on it at that time when I started my Dooney collection. And so they run sales all the time on I Love Dooney and Dooney.com. So the next bag that I, I went for bags. I didn't want the small leather goods or anything at that time. I wanted to try the bags. For me, I think I went with the pebbled, I, I can't remember my first purchase. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't even know if it's on I Love Dooney, the history, but I would suggest starting with pebbled leather. Pebbled leather to me is the most durable, user-friendly. This is the Bitsy bag, the small version of the giant zip zip satchel, which I sold mine. I love my Bitsy bag. So has feet on the bottom. This is the color French blue. I think their pebbled leather is amazing. The quality, the stitching, you get addicted once you start with the pebbled leather. <laughs> and then I moved on to, of course I like a lot of color and this is that shiny, shiny coated cotton, awesome zipper pulls, you know. I I would buy more of this multicolor. I have not yet, but this is a really good crossbody bag. It holds a lot. I wear it uh, crossbody, but I also can wear it shoulder. And it's a really great bag if you're starting out because it's not a small crossbody, but not super large, and it fits against your body. And you can make it shoulder or crossbody. So, yeah, this one's a good one. And this is my more recent purchase, and it's a. There's no, sh it's more of a matte colored charcoal with the giant DBs. Best, this is really great quality. Like I said, if you start with vintage and you know those bags are over 20 years old and they're still holding up and some people beat up their bags, I don't. <laughs> so 20 years from now, this bag is probably going to look the same. But anyway, back to my... <laughs> Dip your toes into I Love Dooney. You won't regret it. They have a lot of sales all the time. They probably have one coming up for Mother's Day. <laughs> so, yeah. Stitching, quality, everything. Superb. And if you are brave, you should dip your toe into Florentine leather. And warning, <laughs> if you dip your toe into Florentine, you're going to be addicted to the Florentine leather. And... I have several Florentine bags now because once you go to Florentine, sometimes you don't go back. <laughs> and this is, this is a beast right here. This is the Florentine made in, made in the USA satchel. And these probably weigh about two and a half pounds empty. <laughs> so, you know, this is the strap that mine came with. And it's just an adjustable long strap. And here's the bottom of mine. This is probably, what, two or three years old. I'm not sure if they make the bottoms like this anymore. This is that beautiful plated hardware. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And smells very good. <laughs> So if you're looking for a little heft, if you can handle the heft, and but the quality is unbelievable. Like if Louis Vuitton or Gucci or YSL had a bag of this size, this quality, who knows how much they would charge for it. I mean, the whip stitching on the handles. If you go into Florentine, you might not come out. That's all I'm saying. And all Florentine leathers are not the same. Some are smooth, some are pebbled, but they are easier to scratch. So you kind of have to baby them. You don't want to beat them up and hit corners and scratch them with your nails. Uh, you got to be a little more careful with the Florentine leather. 
and this is the smoothest butteriest and it looks like butter in the color bone Florentine bag that I ever got it I got this second hand on Mercari for $80 $80 I don't know that she even used it. Beautiful uh, bone color with the green underneath tassels. Just the smoothest Florentine I'd ever seen <laughs> is in my $80 purchase right here. And this one, I think I can do it crossbody or shoulder. And I do shoulder on this. Gorgeous, smooth. I can't get rid of it because it's so smooth. <laughs> So now you're into Florentine at that point, at least I was in my journey. <laughs> and next I went to, I actually, I think I went to Bag Charms first and I kept seeing this chubby duck, gold DB right there, duck, over and over. And sometimes it's on the website and sometimes it's not. I'm not even sure now if they even have these, but you can find them on the secondhand market. It's very it's kind of heavy but i do love this duck charm it's perfect for these bags especially on that black florentine so you could dip your toes into a couple of bag charms i also bought this wallet and it's in the color red and this is what it looks like you know it holds plenty of cards a few quarters if you wanted a couple of dollars it just this part right here kind of gets scratched up in your bag so if you don't want that then I wouldn't suggest the wallets but I don't always match my doonies and coaches and everything SLGs so but this wallet's really cute and compact and if you then I got into the obsession of the kiss locks <laughs> And these are my two most used ones, and this one's in the pebbled leather, in the color wine, and this one is the multicolor. And you can use these as a catch-all, or they have card slots. I have more of these. I used to collect them. <laughs> yeah, the addiction. <laughs> but I uh, just want to show you these two for now, but... They have Florentine, they have suede, they have coated cotton. You have so many choices. <laughs> then, I didn't buy this for a long time. These are more later purchases, which is these awesome coin purses. Because I have the Florentine, which is my favorite. I like that detail up here at the top. And this is in navy. And this is black and brown pebbled leather. And you don't have to worry about that. On the Florentine, you don't have to worry about this plate scratching. So many compartments. You can grab these on sale a lot of times for like $30. So get you one of these. They're worth it. They fit the bills in the back, the coins, the cards in the middle. You can even put, there's a key ring inside. Put your keys inside and run to the store. I... I totally agree that you need, <laughs> with other YouTubers, that you need one of these or two <laughs> or more. So those are my suggestions of starting over. If I were starting over again, I would still follow the same thing I, I started with the vintage and moved on. So that's just my advice and what I've come across and what I've learned and the the textures, the coated cotton, the pebbled leather. I can't say enough about the quality of this company. So that is a wrap for my video. Now go over and check out my friends, uh, Happiness Sparkles says what? My Pursuit of Happiness. They all are gonna have excellent videos and you need to watch them and subscribe to all of us and like, thumbs up, our videos and give us a comment down below. How did you start? How did you start your Dooney collection? I mean, where did you start? Did you start where I did? <laughs> Let me know down below and I appreciate all of you who have subscribed to my channel and until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Be sure to like and subscribe.